opening day video for the 2022 Pirates. I feel like we are just breezing through these years. Um, but, yeah, so we pretty much have the team that I want now. So this year will dictate whether uh, I'm a good GM to start the, the ML or out of the park uh, uh, baseball 20 uh, one. Or whether I'm not. So we have a pretty uneventful offseason. We'll just start with that. Um, you can see that the only really – there's no change in the starting lineup. Jaron's hurt. He got hurt in spring training. He's out for a month. So we have a Travis Swaggerty up. He'll provide a little bit more pop, not as great defensively. Um, but we'll see what we can do there. In terms of uh, pitching, we got rid of Jamison Tyon. Um, his durability changed to wreck, which is wrecked, which is uh, just a curse. Um, so what we did is we, is we traded to him, uh, we withheld 50% of his salary for Brendan McKay, um, which you all, all watching the video will probably know him as the, the Rays prospect. Um, so in the national league, I mean, he's going to give us, you know, some decent pitching. It looks like, um, I just don't like, he's a fly ball pitcher, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, but also he provides so every fifth day, and he might get in the field more often depending on how he's hitting, but every fifth day he'll at least be able to provide us nine solid hitting options in the lineup, which should give us an advantage most of the time um, in those games. So, um, again, eking out the wins here and there. Um, and if you look at his last season, provided a half a win of war and then 2.6 pitching. And, you know, that was him pretty much being an average pitcher for the most part, you know, uh, 1.30 whip. Um, you know, eight Ks per nine, three walks. I, I, okay, I wouldn't say average, I'd say above average, but um, I think there's room to improve there. And it also gives us a lefty in the lineup. Uh, last year it was all righties, um, so this should give us a little bit. Um, as far as the bullpen hasn't changed too much, I mean, Trevor Williams is back. He's he's going to be a long reliever. Um, so I think just more depth all around in the bullpen. Um and we'll see how the lineup goes. So we'll just get right into opening day. Before we do, though, we'll look at the preseason predictions. Always love doing this. Um, but in spring training, 13 and 15, I don't really put a whole lot of uh, stock into that. But if you look at preseason predictions, um, well, before we traded Jamison, we were supposed to win about 85 uh, games. Uh, they dropped us to 80 and 82, which, oh, well. But they pr still project our division to, <laughs> to pretty much suck this year. Um they expect us to score a decent amount of runs, um, but also give up a decent amount, too. So top hitters, any projections there? Nope. Wow, I'm kind of surprised that Keller's not even in here. All right, well, we'll just have to show him wrong. It's fine. Been doing that to our whole career. So we will go to opening day, and we'll just play the first game. We'll just get under our belt. Opening day of the 20 tw – oh. <laughs> canceled due to bad weather. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, we'll get we'll play the um, doubleheader then, or at least the first game. So our half game back from the Reds. Um, so now twenty twenty two opening day. Uh, the Buckos versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, so the Milwaukee Brewers, as you guys will remember, were pretty much trash um, last year. So let's see if Keller can have his third. I won't say dominant, but. Uh, Great season in a row. Cole Tucker leading off. That's a little bit different. Um, Kai Boom is at second. Uh, we have Cabrian Hayes. Hayes. I keep messing up. We have Cabrian Hayes at third base. Um, and then the defense isn't as strong without um, without Jaron. Um, but we'll see what we can do. And Alamaze, we he's starting in Triple A. But um, you know, hopefully we we'll have a good balance here. So uh, Mitch Keller gets up. Two strikes on Lorenzo Kane. It's a good way to start the year. Strikeout. Yasiel Puig playing for the Brewers now. Interesting. And he's going to fly out, it looks like, to Brian Reynolds. No one won any major awards. Didn't take anyone in the Rule, in the rule 5 draft. Um, like I said, pretty uneventful. We didn't have much, much money to do things with anyway, so... I mean, it's pretty much the same core we have, so we're gonna see how we can. Um, we're gonna see how things go this year. I'm excited. So one and two for Cole. Looks like some of our guys took some, uh, you know, improved a little bit, but no one that I saw, uh, according to their like ratings, had a huge jump. So Kai.
describe them? Is that going to fall? Nope. Now that I'm thinking about it, I actually don't know where uh, where Kevin Newman's at. I'm going to have to go find him. And all the off-season hubbub, I don't know. I, I, I guess he's, I don't know if he's starting on the bench or if he's down the, okay, yeah, he's on the bench. I was like, wait, what happened to, what happened to Newman there? I'm going to have to re, we, have to, we might have to reorganize that. Uh, but anyways, Yelich lines out. series. I don't know how to pronounce that. He was a, a, a high-level prospect with the Padres and then got injured. Yep, just going to get one, but hey. Marcy a swing and a miss. All right, so Keller starting the year off uh, pretty well. Bo jumps in the first pitch. They have the shift on for him. You rarely see the, the the power shift for the righty, I feel like. I feel like you always see it with the lefty, with the pull hitters. Kyle Lewis, let's see if he can uh, have a better year than last. I have faith in him. And he lines out the first. Hey, making contact, at least. Miguel Amaya. And he's going to go deep. Home run, Miguel Amaya. First hit of the season for the Buccos. Ends up being a home run. See, I like this first batter strikeout for Keller. First hit of the year, home run by Maya. I think that means it's going to be a good year. Swaggerty, first MLB at bat, I think. And he's going to beat it out for an infield single. Was that his first MLB at bat? No, it couldn't have been. Yeah, looks like it was. Made the jump from double A to... He's a Hall of Famer, guys. He's a Hall of Famer. Batting a 1,000. All right. Now, do we send Swaggerty here? I think we might. Let's see if he goes. Nope, doesn't go. I don't know why when I go to send him, no one ever goes. Ah, oh, dang. It would have been great if Hayes could have got to Keller and then... Whatever. It's fine. Induces a ground ball to Hayes. Strikes out Woodruff. Back to Lorenzo Cain. Three and one. And he singles up the left side. So two singles so far. Keller's allowed, so not a huge deal. Um, and looks like this will be a fly out for the final out. Swaggerty scared me there for a second. I like I like the safety of having uh, um, Kendall back there. Keller leads off the inning. We're not really getting deep into uh, oh singles up the middle. I like that. We're not. Uh, I don't think we're making Woodruff really work. We're really jumping on the early pitches for him. Thirty-two pitches. Yeah. One and two count to Tucker. Uh, nope. Flies out. Kai boom, 2-0 pitch. Going to yank it. I can feel it. <laughs> Literally the exact opposite. Uh, oh, well. Okay. Yellow up to the plate. It's going to ground out. Yep. Keller looking good. I don't know why the Brewers were so bad. Last year. Did they, and maybe they had injuries or something like that. But, I mean, their lineup's not – I mean, it's not great. But it's not terrible either. I think they lost, like, 90 or 100 games last year. Like, you have a, a former NL MVP on your team. You know, it can't be that bad. Reynolds, full count, works a full count. He, he didn't go. Uh, they're going to call him a strike anyway. Couldn't lay off. Boom on a 2-0 pitch. In the gap. Nope. I'm interested to see how things get once we get to our bullpen, though. Kind of nervous about that. Would like a little. Would like a few more runs, just in case. 
but uh, Keller's been pretty efficient so far. Ninety six mile an hour slider. Uh, that's that's to be devastating. Woodruff got to strike out the pitcher. Or at least give him the fly out. Wow, he put a little spunk behind that one there. All right, Amaya. You go two for two with homers. You just go two for two at all, just period. That'd be great. Ooh, hit some. All right, take your base. Just as good as a single. Swaggerty. Ooh, looks like fielder's choice for a second career at bat. Hayes. Nope. Got to fly out to. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes uh, Hayes a little while to kind of get in his groove. He um. He was out like all last season, so I could see him taking some time at the spring training. You know, taking a couple weeks in the regular season to really get in full form. Um. Kane's gonna single. Not how you want to start off the top of the order. Let him get a hit. You can always see if it's going to be caught. Most of the time it's going to be caught by where the runner goes. So if the runner obviously stops halfway, it's most likely going to be caught unless there's an error. So just a little cheat. I mean, those of you guys, just a little cheat. I mean, those of you guys watching this video probably know that already. Ugh, can't get to it. All right, we're a little bit of danger here now with Yellet. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? So now do you walk him? Nope, we're going to pitch. Yikes. Okay, strikeout. There you go. Uh, I'm going to get someone up because if this if this goes south, then that's not going to be great. So who do we have coming up? Righty, lefty, lefty, righty, righty, righty. Um... We might go with uh, Wyman here. We'll get him up. Dang it. One run's going to score. Two runs going to score. Another walk. Wow, Keller's losing it here. I don't – yeah, I think you're feeling it. We're going to get Wyman in there. There you go. Sit him down. Oh, Bucko's got to hit hit the ball a little bit. Three, three hits here? Let's go. What are you doing, guys? There you go. Tucker, single to the right side. That's the way to start it off. Kai boom. Oh, man, you need something better than a ground ball to second base even that you beat it out. Let's go, Brian. Be a hero. Or strike out. It's fine. Boom. I need to get someone else up, though. I need to get a righty up. Chris Stratton crushed it last year, man. Start off again. Boom. Pass ball. Okay. Tying run in scoring position. I like this. And he is going to innocently fly out to left. Okay. We'll get Wyman to get Woodruff out. And then that will be his day. All right, Shratton, you're up. Just keep us in the game. Tee us up for some late inning heroics. Stratton maybe get, uh, what, uh, two innings out of him? 
It'd be great if he could. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I go back and forth between saying I want to use as few pitchers as possible or as many for as few pitches. I would. I think I want to use as few pitchers as possible. So, Kyle Luth, the dish. Strike three. Woodruff is dealing today. Like I said, we're not making him work, so he's going deep in this game. Not very patient at the plate. Swaggerty. Great name. Ooh. Let's go. It's a double. He's taking three. He's taking three. He's going three. There you go. Travis Swaggerty. First game in the pros. He has a uh, a single and a triple. I like that. They're bringing in the reliever. All right, Hayes. Could it really make things interesting here? Two outs. Oh, he's going to fly out. Oh, if I only had eyes. All right. I like what I see from Swaggerty so far. Stratton induces some more weak contact, which is great. Yelch. He's going to jump on the first pitch. And that's going to be a fly out as well to Reynolds. All right. Except for that one poor inning. See, we've had one poor inning, and really the Brewers have had one poor pitch. <laughs> um, it's really hurt them. So we need to get on them here. Stratton leading off. We only have so many outs left. We gotta use a pinch hitter, and we're going Evan White. He is first off the bench, regardless of the uh, regardless of righty versus lefty. I have he had a great year last year, and I trust him here. And he's gonna line out right to center today. So we're gonna have to get uh, we'll get Kyle Crick up. Cole Tucker, 3-1. Takes the walk. There you go. Kai Boom, 3-1. Uh, doesn't take it, and it turns into a double crick in play. So we got three outs left. After we get through we get through uh, the Brewers bullpen here, or the Brewers uh, lineup. Let's make an easy one, two, three. Leadoff, leadoff bloop single. Strike three. Yep, sit, take a seat. Beanie, baby. Come on, turn two. No! You schmuck, who was it? Throws wild into the outfield. That's on Crick. Oh, God, here he goes again. All right, turn to double play. Always got to make it interesting. All right, down to the final three. Final three outs. Got the heart of the order. Couldn't ask for couldn't ask for anyone else. Brian Reynolds, 2-0. Hater. He's tough. But you're going to get a bloop single out of out of Brian Reynolds. That's the way you want to start off the bottom of the ninth. Can Bohm take him deep and walk it off for the Pirates to start the 2022 season? Could we do it? Not a walk up. Oh, I thought that was finding the gap there. Oh, you got a tag on that. I get in scoring position. Kyle Lewis. I trust you, man. One and two. Man, he is just struggling still. Amaya. Full count. Oh, I'll strike through to end it. Had a little bit of pressure on there. Well, bummer first game, I'll tell you that. But, hey, we got the second game of the doubleheader. We're going to sim some games. We're just going to have a little bit of fun. Um, what happened there? That's uh, no bueno. What the, what the heck's going on? I don't understand how that happened. I, all I did was just finish the game. 
active roster. All right, I'm going to figure this out. i got to see if Ben Sherrington's still messing with the lineup here. Um, but anyways, disappointing starts at 20. we got 22 season. We have a lot of time left. I'm going to sim a couple games, see how things shake out. We'll be back to play. Uh, we'll be back to play again here soon. So thank